right, so now we come to the final question for this game, question 17. The hobbyist could select any of the following plant combinations except. All right, so there are some plant combinations here that aren't gonna work. Um, let's see, why not? Um, or, well, actually there's only one, <laughs> right? There's only one right answer. So there's one combination here that um, is not going to work. All right, so if we select W and X, um, is there any issue there? Yeah, so doesn't look like it. There's there's no um, there's no trigger there. B, W and Y. Okay, so Y means no G. Okay, um, W being in doesn't tell me anything. Um, but if there's um, a Y, then there's no G. That doesn't look like it's necessarily leading anywhere. Um, and then W and Z. Okay, so if W and Z are in, um, oh, I should actually, sorry, I should um, complete this. So if W and Y are in, that actually, we have to look at the other side of that. So we, ha we know that X and Z are out. And if X is out, then K is out. And if K is out, then H is out. And we have one, two, three fish out, which is too many fish out. So B actually can't work. Sorry, I got ahead of myself there. Um, here, if Y is out, that doesn't have any consequences. And if Z is out, that doesn't have any consequences. But if we're being told that these are the plants selected, um, the other part of that is that we know that the other two plants are not selected um, and that can be, those can be triggers, right? So that would trigger um, the contrapositive of rule four here, um, which triggers the contrapositive of rule two. Um, and then uh, that's an unacceptable situation. So we can't eliminate both G, K, and H, or all three of those same time. So B isn't going to work. That's the exception and the correct answer. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. Um, I did, um, you know, there were a few hiccups certainly in the, the uh, this explanation here. Um, so if you do need any clarification, just let me know.